The Byrne College of Art exists because of the Byrne, this amazing landscape that has been a source of inspiration for creative and reflective people throughout the ages. It was formed by these major tectonic shifts that caused the great movements of the earth and caused these swirling shapes and formations that we find here that may look barren and inhospitable at the outset and yet they produce this amazing and delicate foliage of incredibly beautiful orchids and it's a place full of paradoxes but it has been a place of inspiration for creative people since time began really. And it has also been a place of education and that's been shown through the, uh, the famous Bardic schools and the Breton Law schools of the 6th to the 16th century, uh, the great monastic settlement that was here and then really by setting up the college in 1994 we were connecting with this tradition that had lain dormant during occupation and in a very audacious move really uh, we sought to set up a college based on those principles, on the principles of people coming back to source. The burn is a source of getting people in touch with their, what really was within them as creative people. Really peaceful, it's serene, there's like huge historical sites everywhere, like ring forts or fairy forts or tombs that are 6,000 years old. It's extremely exciting to be somewhere so different. Not only the place, but the organization of academics is really unique here. Um, the, the amount of time that students are given to really delve into their art is so special and I'm so grateful to have had that experience. The way we achieve this is by providing, as we say, time and space and inspiration for international artists and students uh, to really get in touch with who they are as artists. And they do this by having incredibly generous studio spaces, that's their place in which they, 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 they create their work. We have a four to one faculty student ratio. We bring in a wide uh, variety of national and international visiting artists and we also bring our students to Dublin and London and Berlin so that they're very much in touch with the international art world but then they can retreat from that and get back into their studio and into their place where they really take all that information, uh, I suppose interrogate it, uh, internalise it and in this environment and with a lot of individual one-on-one -on -one tutorials and group tutorials and working with a community of artists who are hugely important in their development, they, they, we assist them in finding out who they really are as artists in the middle of all of this. The fact that you get so much one-to-one -to -one with real artists and then the faculty are just so much like your family. It's, I can't even imagine another school like it. It's an amazing place to think and just to have space to gather your thoughts but to also have the support of a world-class kind of faculty at your disposal that you can talk your ideas through and continue learning. We're fortunate that we can provide this alternative model of education and remain small because of our international uh, connections with the art world and with the art education world. Uh, the National University of Ireland in Galway accredits our postgraduate degrees and we have connections with uh, major art schools in Europe and in the US. Uh, specifically with the, Royal, with the Royal College of Art in London and the School of Art, the Art Institute of Chicago who send mentors on our graduate programme. And we have uh, artists and visiting faculty from many other uh, colleges in the world also. So while students are here, they really are given the permission to really, really, really take risks with their artwork, to be audacious, to try out perhaps what they haven't done before. And they do this in a very, very supportive environment, but yet one that completely challenges them. Um, I've, I've been encouraged by the tutors and I've had great support from the community and just time to sit and think and focus and really become, I don't know, I guess come into my own in a way um, with, with what I'm doing and finally realizing what it is that I'm interested in and what drives me. I've discovered so much through being here. My process has changed, my work is more honest than it's ever been. I'm discovering so much every day is a new challenge, but there's so much to be discovered that being here just facilitates that. What I came here with was a clear intention of what I wanted to make work about. And now after this first year, I feel like I'm starting to make the work 
that I always knew I had inside me. As we transition from a hothouse for artists to a hothouse for universal creativity, we now include our art and ecology programs, our audacious conversations, our courses in creative leadership. But at the heart of all of this is the fact that we're an art school. We began as an art school in the Burren. This is what will always be important to us. Artists and art students will always be at the core of what the Burren College of Art is about.